And I started painting this when I decided to do the video because uh, what I want to teach <clears throat> in this case is um, working on how to use light in the painting and just color variations to give it depth so that it's not so flat. So um, I've got just acrylic paints here, Apple Barrel brand from Walmart. They're two for a dollar, so anybody can afford to do this. <laughs> and I would provide these if you did a class. So I'm using a few different colors here. And the colors you choose if you do this at home could be anything, honestly. But this is called khaki. This is burnt bur umber, a brown color. And then for my um, little flower, I'm going to use honeysuckle pink and cameo pink. Um, and I normally do a dark color and a light color because of the shading. Now you can also mix, you know, white into yours and, and get the different shadings that way. And then these two greens are for the cactus. It is English ivy green and parakeet. And then I wanted to make my pot blue because I love this shade of blue here. It's like one of my favorites. It's called Tuscan Teal. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of light shading with this Caribbean blue color. And then of course we have black and we might use some white also. So I'm picturing this table to be wooden. And what I'm gonna do is load, I, I've colored it in already with the tan khaki color and then I'm going to add some wood grain using um, an angle shader brush this is 5 8 um, and really you can use any size brush but this is kind of a medium size for that works well with the size of this painting and the areas that we're going to be covering so I'm just going to start by holding this sideways here and I'm going to line this table and while I'm doing this, I want you to think about where would light in this painting come from? So this is a plant, maybe it's on a table. Um, this particular plant does not need sunlight because it would be a succulent. Um, but say it did, and let's just say that it um, is by a window. So if it's by a window, the sun is going to be coming in on one side of it and not the other. Or maybe in the front and not the back. So for purposes here, I am going to assume that my sunlight is coming from the top left corner. Now what you can do to kind of remind yourself if you need it is just place an object on the canvas and act like it's your sunshine and 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 that'll help you figure out where are the shadows so you can see even where my lighting here comes in it's casting a shadow sort of this way which is what the sun would do if it was placed there so we're going to go ahead and just use that and i'm not going to get too detailed with this table because I don't want it to take too long here. So I'm just gonna put in some wood looking slats, maybe some little knots in the wood. And then for the shading, we're going to do what um, what I like to call dry brushing. I don't know if what it's what it's actually called um, because like I said, I don't have any art experience. So there's my table. You know, I might do more with it later, but I'm going to go ahead and dry this. And I always dry my acrylics, move you around here, using um, just a blow dryer. So I'm going to dry these real quick. So anytime I want to add depth to something, I do what, what I call the dry brushing technique. And all that is, 
is I'm gonna get a paper towel and I'm gonna load my brush with some paint, but then I'm gonna kind of dry it, like kind of dab it on a paper towel. And then the reason you want this to be dry is because it's gonna create this shading effect. So um, my son is coming from the top left. So I'm gonna assume here that it's gonna hit around this area. So we're gonna say, oh, the pot is going to cast a shadow. And I actually might go over this with black since this is already got brown on the wood. And we're just gonna lightly just pull the paint so it casts a little shadow. And this, I mean, this is obviously gonna be kind of an abstract painting. It's does it look real and and the good thing about that is your shading doesn't have to be perfect so there's the shading for my pot and I would um, so I'll probably go back over that with black actually and then I'll use the dry brushing technique to add a little more character on the floor so you, you all you have to do is just kind of lightly rub it in so we're gonna skip that uh, I'll show you with the black I just added black right onto the same brush and we'll just kind of go I would kind of go back over it with the black So what we want to do is shade in where there's going to be a shadow cast and then we're going to use the lighter shades where the light will hit on this side of the canvas. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works right there and looks mm -hmm. like my battery is dying of course. So um, that's really about all I wanted to show you today and then just that you're going to um, use either the darker color or the lighter color first. In this case, with the wood, I went with the lighter color um, because generally the grain in wood is a little darker than the kind of like base of the wood. And so I would just go in and lightly. Now with the pot, I'm going to do it in the darker blue and then highlight it with the lighter blue. So you just got to kind of think about how you want to do it. So that's really all I have for today since my battery's dying. And I'm gonna finish this up and I will get some classes scheduled um, on this fun little painting and we can do it together. Thanks, have a great day.